Hey everyone, so this is a first video in my series about how to get started in OpenSeas. Uh, today we're just going to be taking a look at how to install OpenSeas on our computer. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to install OpenSeas PY or OpenSeas Python. Uh, so in order to do this, obviously the first step, we're going to need to install Python on our computer. And to do so, I highly recommend that you use uh, a package called Anaconda. Uh, so we're just gonna search Anaconda. Uh, I really can't spell it all, but that's okay. I'm an engineer. Uh, luckily, I do not need to know how to spell. So we're just gonna go to downloads um, and you're gonna want the most recent version of Python. So uh, you're gonna click download. I already have it on my computer. Um, and then once you have it downloaded, you're just gonna go and install it like you would any other program. Um, there's really nothing special about this installation. You can basically just click next brainlessly and it should be good. Uh, I already have Python installed on my computer, so I won't go through the actual installation, but just know it will take a little bit um, to do. So pull up a cup of coffee or whatever and just wait for it to install. Okay, so once you have uh, Anaconda installed on your computer, we're just gonna first confirm that everything's actually in working order. Uh, I'm gonna open up Anaconda Navigator, and this should show us some of the packages uh, or programs we kind of have on our computer now. Um, we're gonna be using some of these a little bit later. So this props up, so everything's installed properly. Um, and now that we have Anaconda and Python installed on our computer, the next step is going to be to actually install OpenSeas as a package in Anaconda. So we're going to go to now uh, Anaconda prompt. And this is basically, it's like Windows prompt, um, if you've ever seen that, uh, but it's running through the Anaconda program. So to install OpenSeas, we're going to do it through something that's called pip. Pip is a, a way of installing programs that's often used in Python, um, basically through this text interface. So we're going to run a command, uh, and that will install OpenSeas PY for us. So we're going to go pip install OpenSeas PY. Um, and then you're going to run this command. So I already have OpenSeas on my computer. Uh, so I won't see exactly the same thing you'll see, but basically once you run this, perfect. Uh, so it says my requirements are already satisfied, but for you, you should see a bit of a progress bar that goes across the screen and then a confirmation that you actually have installed OpenSeas on your computer. Okay, so now we should be good to go, um, but I'm going to show you how to import OpenSeas to a script that you're using. Um, and then run said script. So to do this, uh, I'm going to first open up Spider. So Spider is uh, an IDE or integrated developer environment. Basically, all you need to know is that Spider will allow us to run, uh, to write scripts, save them, and run scripts. Uh, and for now, that's all we need to know. So you'll see we have this text editor. Um, and we'll be able to write commands and run them. So in order to check that OpenSeas has been installed properly and we can import it, uh, we're gonna write the following command at the start of our script. Uh, import OpenSeas py dot OpenSeas as op. And basically to give you the context of what this is doing, um, when we write programs in Python, sometimes we want to use functions that aren't our own. In this case, OpenSeas is uh, the package that we're using, and we want to use functions basically from OpenSeas. This import command allows us to import modules. In this case, OpenSeas is our module. Um, and then we're importing it as OP. And basically, we're going to use this at the start of all our OpenSeas commands. Um, and, and by importing OpenSeas as uh, OP, we could have called it anything. Um, 
but for simplicity, I chose OP. Uh, that will tell it to use the OpenSeas command. So just to test uh, that everything's up and running properly, we're going to import, or we're going to use a very simple OpenSeas command, op.wipe. And if you're wondering, this command basically just tells OpenSeas, delete everything. Uh, if you have a model, remove your model. Um, but we're just using this to see that, hey, we can import OpenSeas and we can run a command. So we're going to click run. If this is your first time using uh, your IDE, there's going to be a little uh, content bar that pops up. <laughs> this is another thing that you can kind of just brainlessly click through. You don't really have to edit any settings for now. Um, but yeah, so if, if it works, you should get no errors um, and it should just run properly. Um, so that was a very basic command. Um, in order to understand what commands you can give to OpenSeas, I'm going to guide you to OpenSeas PY is their official website. So OpenSeas PY. Um, and this is basically a list of, um, there's, there's tons of stuff on this website, but I think most important for you will be seeing all the different commands that you can use in OpenSeas. Uh, so as you write your scripts and you write your codes, you're going to be frequently coming back to this website. Um, for example, if you want to learn how to do the node command, we can see node and then it has these parameters that it asks, asks of us. So if we were to look over here, if we wanted to run the node command in our file, uh, we would have to do, because we've imported OpenSeas as op, op first dot node. Um, and then we basically just will follow whatever part of the instructions that we need. So we want some sort of tag in our node, whatever we'll call it, one, uh, we want some sort of coordinates, uh, so 0, 0, uh, and then all of these star commands, these are optional commands. Um, I don't want to take that comma out. So um, that would be how we import the command. Um, I think that's where I'm going to leave things for now. Uh, just so you know, um, I'm kind of using this as an example, but if we wanted to input the node command, we should actually have a model command in here first. So why don't I just put this in? Uh, we will have two and three. OP. There. Now, when I click run, everything should work. Uh, we'll create our model. We'll add some node to it and we'll delete our model. Great. So it looks like it run. All right. That's where I'm going to end things now. Let me know if this all worked for you. Um, I'll be checking this channel regularly. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know.